Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today's Friday, March 5th, 2021. Today I'm going to be discussing having these difficult conversations with family and friends about the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, folks, there's hardly a day that goes by where I don't receive a text message or a call or an email from someone saying, how can I help either my friend, my family member, my spouse, my loved one, who doesn't want to take the COVID-19 vaccine or who doesn't want to get the COVID shot to change their mind. So here's what I've learned after doing all this community education. And this is the advice that I give. And hopefully this will be helpful to you if you're having any of these conversations. Okay, first rule, start where they are. Try to understand their point of view. Find out where they get their information from because there's a whole lot of misinformation out there when it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic and the COVID-19 vaccines. Then always try to suggest alternative official sources of information. And I'll have some of these links uh, included in this post. Then I try to address any fears that people have. Again, there's so much misinformation. People believe that it's going to alter their DNA or it's going to cause infertility or they can get COVID-19 from the vaccine or they're going to have a whole lot of side effects or they don't know that the vaccine is free or some people feel that they're not going to be able to work afterward. So again, address these fears, share personal examples if you have any, and then if you're informed, if you feel comfortable, present the facts, present the facts that you know. And here are a few tips. One, the COVID-19 vaccination will help keep you from getting COVID-19. That is a fact. Number two, facts that COVID-19 vaccination is a safer way to help build immunity in your family unit or in your community or in your household, depending on who you're talking to. And then I like to share that stopping this pandemic requires using everything, all the tools, all the knowledge, all the science, all the research that we have available. And one of the tools in our toolbox is vaccination now. We didn't have this tool a year ago, but we have it now. And the vaccine is safe, Nearly 83 million people have been safely vaccinated in the United States, and more than 250 people have been safely vaccinated around the world. Lastly, answer any questions to the best of your ability. People don't expect you to be a vaccine expert, and they're not either. And don't try to push any agendas. Respect their decision, because after all, vaccination is voluntary. I've seen many people change their minds. Some people are just more cautious before committing to take this vaccine. Some people need more hand-holding as they learn the facts and wait, watch, and see what happens with the vaccine rollout. And then some people are only going to get the vaccine if they feel that they're forced to, to keep their jobs or to travel, or because everybody else in the family has had a vaccine and they're the only ones left out. Now, for those people who bring up the Tuskegee syphilis studies, I tell tell people, don't let the past cause you to die in the present or miss living into your future. I always try to emphasize safety And while I acknowledge that there's probably some side effects in the first day or two after the vaccine, these are generally short-lived and manageable and tolerable, and compare those to the long-term side effects from getting COVID-19. So I hope that helps you in your difficult conversations with your family, friends, and loved ones. And again, my views are my own. My only information, my only purpose in doing these informational videos is to help save lives. Stay blessed. Take care. Till next time.